clutch. It's like a stage three clutch. It's super heavy. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. Let I me mean, know how it feels when we get there. Jay definitely will never forget the sound. No, I was just like a kid. I was like, oh my god. That is insane. It's addicting too. Like you, you just feel want to it. On 315, that was third gear, super low RPM. Like it's not even like I'm revving the car out. It just sounds that good all the time. <laughs> yeah, new respect for that car. Oh, it's so much fun. The clutch is fantastic. Ooh, show us this S class, baby. Yeah, man, take a look. I, know, I mean, I know you're gonna think I'm saying this just because I work here. Best luxury car I've ever driven. Ever been. Think there's an S class in our future? Yeah, I think this so. This is new. This thing's right. falling, dude. Ooh, look at that key. New key. Flip that over. Ooh. Oh my it's gosh, nice. you feel how quiet it is? Wait, how about this uh, pillow for you? Let me adjust oh, your. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then, but just guys, you gotta lean back and use the headrest. Oh. Come in here after lunch, take a little nap. I, I think this is a good place to to interview Daniel about how this whole this Black is, Series thing absolutely. went down. Car on, though, so, so Daniel. Yeah. First, the Black Series was slated for what, end of June? Well, initially it was, I think we were talking about, we heard it was gonna be in May. Yeah, because we were talking maybe for the show. For the show, right. Yeah. We called and we got laughed at. Yeah. I got laughed at. So then it didn't make it for May, and then, I mean, production for everybody has been, it's just, it's one story after another, and the challenges everybody's facing are like nothing we've ever seen before. So from May, then it went to June. They didn't even think it was gonna be July. They told us August, September. Your car, your guys' car had already been produced, and had gotten actually to the port at the US. That's not unusual and Mercedes holds cars there in a special area. They maintain them, they check them every day. At least monthly, they're rotating the tires, making sure there's no bald spots. They're turning them on, they're scanning them, making sure there's no errors and things like that. So, and then just one day they were like, black series are released. And usually what I do is call Jordan and say like, your your car got released, but for some reason, I thought it you might be. Me. I did. Oh, wait, you, you gave Brett the call. Yeah. He said, do you want to form an alliance with me? And Brett goes, depends what it is. Yeah, <laughs> I did. That's exactly what I said. I said, well, can we prank Jordan? And he goes, and he thought about it like hard. And he's like, well, can we can we film it? And I'm like, well, that's up to you. But probably like, well, he yeah. doesn't know that the Black Series is in the, is in the US yet or that it's been released. So, because the official timeline was still showing that it was going to be August, September. So the good news is the car is built. It's here. Esoteric already has it. They've been doing an amazing job on it. You know, Dan called me from there and said it's one of the most fun cars he's ever worked on. Yeah, so after this, we're going to head over to Esoteric, see Dan and Todd, uh, like we talked about before, and check out the progress. I mean, it'll be the first Black Series I've seen in person. So it's it's absolutely cool. a track yeah. weapon. We'll find out. I mean, yeah. can't hurt. Yeah. And I just really can't wait to see what Rentec comes up with it awesome. for it. So right. awesome. Let's check it out. We can do that. Let's head to Esoteric. Thanks, guys. You said that's the yeah. comfort this box? Is the comfort box. It's like so, a magic trick. <laughs> Did you do magic as a kid? No. I can do it as a kid. Is that you trip left, Jerry? I don't know what's sexier. You were the car. <laughs> happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, good to see you. What do you think of it now that uh, it's had the modification stuff done to it? Oh, amazing. Yeah. I mean, one of the most fun cars to drive in the garage. You know what make that look better? And me driving it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so you guys have been working on a project for about a week now. A secret project. Secret, top secret. Yeah. What's the project name, Jason? Okay. Project Midnight. <laughs> okay, it's like like it. Black Series. Black, Under the Black Veil Cab of Darkness. Black Cabbage. Black cabbage. Black cabbage. Clean up on aisle five. So we were just here last week picking up Jason and Megan's G-Wagon. Yeah. And little does 
or did Jordan know it was here? It was, it was sitting here. in those yeah. tents, right? Yeah, <laughs> it was. Uh, it, it was in hiding. It was a good thing you guys gave me a heads up on that one because that that could have been a, a difficult one to hide. We don't have that big of a shop in there, you know. <laughs> yeah, working yeah. on it. Though. Yeah, working on it. Yeah, yeah, working on it. Ready. So let's ready. go check this thing out. All right, let's go see. That's a big old wing. Pretty That's amazing. Big wing. But so far, we, we went in, we did whatever kind of paint correction that was necessary on it. This thing has been completely wrapped, all completely custom. There's no patterns or anything available for, for these. So all completely uh, custom. You know, we did a lot of disassembly, a lot of the carbon fiber pieces and stuff had to come apart so we can wrap everything in, uh, make it as clean as possible. It's gotten put back together. Now it's gonna go through a series of, uh, of QC on the film. I'm gonna be tinting windows a little bit later on the day. And then once that's done, we're gonna go do ceramic coating on uh, the whole car. So theoretically speaking, by the end of the day tomorrow, this will be wrapped up, completely, completely done. What uh, do you think, Jay? Yes, it's ridiculous. The cool thing about this one, too, In, inside of it, it's a GT. Yeah, um, very familiar. Yeah, very familiar car. But then, you know, outside, it's, it's pure business. Jordan will be mad if you sit in it. I'm not sitting in it first. <laughs> Make Jay do it. Yeah, Jay, do you want to sit in it first? Oh, yeah. Jay's like, nope, <laughs> nope, nope. Don't get your blood, it's different. I'll, I'll rub my blood. You can get away with there. everything. Do a couple of donuts. They're hanging on for dear life in this thing, won't you? <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I can't wait to get this out. Oh, no. This will be fun. Oh, hi there. Oh, it's a hatch. Oh, which is cool when you look. You know, everything's carbon fiber. Oh, you keep it as, uh, as light as possible. Hi, Jay. Hi, back there. That's a big boy. Looks nice. <laughs> Engine thoughts by Jay. Andreas did a nice job here for us. You called him up to make sure he put in that special tune and everything Absolutely. For it. I think Daniel said the hood was like six pounds, the entire hood or something like that, which I'm surprised they even used hydraulic arms just because of weight. Yeah. Gosh, this is a wide boy too. Look how wide well, he is. Well, I put um, Mrs. Freca's GTR Pro Roadster in the, in the trailer. Barely there was fit, no right? room. Oh my on God. either side, yeah. Thanks for thank you. Our involvement uh, in uh, this. I, I feel he gets involved in everything. <laughs> One way or another. One way or another. Yeah. 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 All right. See you Monday. So Daniel at Mercedes Benz of Easton had I'm, to had I'm to work really hard. Just to talk about that. I am too. Okay. So probably three months ago now, uh, Daniel from Mercedes Benz of Easton called me and he was like. Hey man, do you want to do a crank on Jordan? Of course I'm in right away. Of but, course. But I said, I need to know what it is first so I can gauge like how pissed off you're going to be about it. <laughs> to so, know if it's a good idea or not. Yeah, but then Daniel didn't respond to me for like a week. So I'm like, uh oh, like what's going on? But I think he was kind of like getting fed a little bit of information at a, at, at a time. So, you know, we went through a couple different schemes or scenarios to how we can prank Jordan. Or surprise me. The word surprise is okay too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, surprise Jordan surprise. with the car. Cause yeah. he he likes to be, you know, big man in charge. I know everything that's going on. It's you just, know. it's kind of natural, you yeah. know? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's natural. Uh, at least like what's going on with the cars with like selling, buying, yeah. cars coming in, yeah. you know, everything else I'm not so much. But like in terms uh, of the cars. How about nothing else? Okay. How about nothing else you are? I'll agree to that. So that week, Jordan was out of town, so it worked out perfectly. And we wanted to talk to Todd. When Jordan got home, I said, hey man, you know, Todd wants to see us to go over some, you know, some shop talk and whatnot. He's got some cool stuff over there he wants us to check out. So the idea was to have Jordan go over there with me and Jason, 
go in the shop, check things out, and be like, yeah, this is one of our customers. We're gonna throw a Virginia state license plate on it. So basically, you know, try to throw Jordan off if this wasn't our, our GT Black Series. Our six weeks go by, Jordan comes home, it's the day of. We're all excited, we're gonna go to, to Esoteric, you know, walk around the shop, and then right before we were gonna leave, Todd was gonna be like, oh shoot, Jordan, I forgot to give you this, and then hand him the keys to this car. So Jordan wakes up and decides he wants to be a that day. Well, look, I, I didn't. I, I don't want to film. I didn't want to film that day. I know, you know, we kind of pick up the slack when somebody doesn't, or if they're doing something, you know. Yeah. I was like, hey, you and you and Jason can 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 handle that part of things. You know, you guys are great. You know, that brings up a good point. That's why you may not see me in all the videos, Jason in all the videos, or Jordan in all the videos. We try to get obviously all us three together every video possible, but there are times we have family stuff going on and prior obligations. Sure. So, and, and you know, to be honest about this situation, you know, I had some personal issues going on. Right. And you know, some things not going great and I had to take care of it and I wasn't in the mood to film that day, and I wasn't in the mood to uh, really do much, no. to be honest. So I, obviously hindsight 2020, I had no idea what you guys were doing, but I'll let you. Yeah, so, so I make a two hour commute every day, just about come down here, two hours one way. Jason calls me, he's like, where are you at? I was like, I just hit the road. So we might as well turn around. Jordan doesn't want to go. I said, well, you know, we got to figure this out because everybody had a hand involved and we, we needed to make this happen. She's like, all right, let me see what I can do. He calls Jordan. Again, Jordan's like, I'm not going. I don't want to do it. You know, I got stuff going on. Can't do it. Jason calls me back. He's not going to do it. He can't do it. <laughs> so this happened like 10 times. So finally, Jason and I made the decision like, okay, we got to tell him. Like, he has to go see this car. Yeah. So basically, our game plan kind of backfired. And, but ultimately, it worked out. Except with no surprise reaction yeah. on video because I was being a little pansy. It happens to the best of us. It does. I mean, I didn't realize I had a surprise. Who, who would have ever thought? That's because you usually nobody man, man in charge. Nobody surprises me. Well. Okay. First impressions. We're just going to dive right in right now. <laughs> but no, so yeah, one of the craziest facts about this car is that it holds the current production car. Non-modified production car lap record. When the lap record was what? It was the SVJ at like 644. Okay. 645. And this did it in what? 643, like 0.27. 643. The 918 did it in 657. That's the most mind-blowing fact of this entire review. So you pretty much stop watching now. After I mean, that, pretty much. Like, what? But it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't I make mean, sense. a 3,500-pound front-engine car. Rear-wheel drive car. With 750 horsepower. No hybrid assist. And what was the torque? 590? 590. Like that just doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem logical that that could beat a 918 by like 14 seconds. Right. Around the Nürburgring. But first impressions of this car is, you know, I thought it would be very similar looking, I guess, to a regular uh, AMG GT, mm -hmm. even the Pro. Yeah. But it is, it has so much more of a road presence and feel yeah. than even the Pro or, you know, we have the AMG GTR Roadster. Yeah. Um, just very different. You know, you're looking out over the front, you see the vents uh, very Viper-ish. Very Viper-esque. You look out the back and it's like a double wing. Yeah, just like the ACR. Yeah, just super, super aggressive. I mean, just everything feels so aggressive. I feel like I'm riding in the, our old ACR. Yeah. I just, do. Just a little more luxurious. Yeah. And without a manual. Yeah, unfortunately. I do, I do love the manual. Yeah. So this car, this Mercedes with this tech in it, is it's up there if we're talking about non hypercars this is probably my favorite car aside from the hypercars and even Whoa, i'm gonna argue with you there you would put this over the 054 gt oh, like get out of here or the 675 right like, come okay on. okay this can be a part of the uh non hyper holy trinity yeah i like that I like you that. can't go wrong with any of them but at the end of the day it's an amg so it's bulletproof But man, do we have to do something about that exhaust. I know. That's the only thing. Yeah. The, the only thing I do different is a more aggressive exhaust. Like really what it took Daniel yeah. to get this allocation. Because up to this point, you know, we've had, I don't know, we counted like maybe 30, 35 Mercedes. It's been around Mercedes. 35 Mercedes. So uh, this is from the late 80s though. Yeah, so, so it took a lot and it took a lot, way more than that for, you know, I'll have to let Daniel divulge how much information he wants to give out on all the things he, and hoops he had to jump through to get us this, this allocation. So 
I you know, a good one. Yeah, I can't say enough about Daniel and, uh, you know, Jermaine, Mercedes. Yeah, the whole family of Jermaine, they're, they're tremendous. They are. I mean, they bend over backwards, and, you know, I mean, we'll always bend over backwards for them, too. No, so we're pretty much in love with the Black Series. I didn't, I did not think at all I would like it this much. I really didn't. Because, you know, like, the AMG GTR, like, I like it, but it's not like, like, wow. Yeah. Compared to the other cars, it doesn't just give you the wow factor where this gives you that wow factor. Sure, it's one of the best looking cars too. It is. I love, I love just staring at it, touching it. Is that weird? No. No? No. I like to touch things I love to. I got up at two o'clock in the morning last night just to come over and rub it. That's a lie. That is a lie. <laughs> to say nothing wakes you up at 2 a.m. You're right. All right, well. Yeah, we'll catch you guys here soon. All right, bye guys. This is like a perfect rally car too. So like oh, taking yeah. this on a rally, I mean, this might go on Savage Rally, I'm not sure. I think that's a great option. 